Okay, let's see how we customize cell contents at a fine degree of tuning using the cell editor. The cell editor accomplishes a number of very important features in Iron Speed Designer. First, it lets you add your own customizations. You can put your own text in a cell, any amount of HTML, uh, ASP.NET tags, JavaScript tags, third-party control tags, whatever you want. You can put entire pages of HTML or code or anything else that you want in a cell. Iron Speed Designer saves this content and reproduces it in your generated application page for you. Iron Speed Designer really doesn't care what that content is. It's just holding on to it in its configuration file that it uses to generate your page and faithfully reproduces it by copying it out to your generated page. We have one caveat, though, which is please don't modify any of the tags that start with gen. Those are code generation tags Iron Speed Designer has placed into cells. Now, you can place your content along with the code generation tags. You can wrap your content around code generation tags, which is very common. You can put your content in empty cells. Just don't edit the code generation tags. So one very important capability is the ability just simply to customize a page and add your own content. The other important capability is being able to format the look and feel of an individual cell. And by format, I mean adjusting things like the font, the font size, the colors of the text, background color, um, cell width, bold italics, underline, vertical and horizontal alignment, cell borders, all of the really normal common formatting operations that you would perform on a cell if you're using it uh, in HTML or SPX. All of this you can do with the cell editor using a convenient toolbar. So there's no need really to learn any of the underlying HTML or worry about any of those attributes and, and so forth. What the cell editor, of course, is doing is really just building up a style attribute for the HTML or ASPX that's going to get generated. Now, the other interesting thing is that you can actually not only format an entire cell, but you can select a region within the cell. So just select a set of tags, whatever you want, and use the toolbar, and it will instead put a span tag uh, around those instead of a style attribute for the cell. So let's see this in action. Let's go into the cell editor now and modify some cells. So let me go back to Iron Speed Designer. I'm going to go into design mode. I'm going to now navigate to my customer record control up here at the top of the page. And we'll do some formatting. I'll just start, say, with the company name here. And I'll go down here to the cell editor. And I'm going to select, say, 16-point uh, bold, and we'll make it uh, red, so big, bold, and red. Now you can see what it's done here is that it's built up a style attribute in terms of an HTML style attribute. It's set exactly uh, what we want. We start out with a class that is created by Iron Speed Designer for this cell called DFV, display field value. And then it's adding to that the style attribute that says font size is 16 points, bold, and red. That's really all there is to it. Just use the toolbar. Now, I can come down here, for example, where I've got multiple uh, code generation tags. And I can select, say, one portion of that. I'm just going to highlight one tag. And I'll do the same thing. I'll say, well, let's make this 14 point bold and uh, green. And so you can see uh, what's, what's happening here uh, is we have simply asserted a span tag around our code generation tag. That's all that's really happening here. So you can select either the entire cell or an individual portion. And it doesn't matter whether it's a code generation tag or your own content here. As I mentioned, you can put your own content in. So, so for example, if I wanted to go here to my contact name, I can say, uh, dear, uh, contact name, uh, colon, um, uh, or I could go over here and say, uh, call me at, put an exclamation point out there, 
and so forth. So we can put any amount of text, uh, ASP.NET tags, whatever we want to, uh, typing in here. So my point is you can wrap your code generation tags in just about anything, whether it be text, whether it be things that you add via the cell editor, as we did here, by wrapping the code generation tag in a span tag, and so forth. Now, I can even modify style properties at the row or table level as well. The way I do that is just uh, select in a cell, for example, any cell, right-click, select styles, and now I'll select row. And I can type in any HTML attribute that I want. So if I want uh, uh, the style attribute, I could say font weight bold semicolon. That's all it takes. The purpose of the tag attributes dialog is to give you complete low-level control of either the cell uh, row or table tags, either the TD, TR, or table tags that get generated. That way you can effectively override anything uh, that Ironspeed Designer generates. I'll click OK here. And now let's switch back to Live Preview. The yellow bar moving across the screen is Ironspeed Designer regenerating your page and uh, code file. And the blue bar, of course, is the .NET Framework compiler uh, recompiling your application. So we're just waiting for .NET at this point to catch up with us. Sometimes I think we should play the final Jeopardy theme song while we wait. And here we are. As you can see, I made this one cell here, big, bold, and red. Then we made uh, this one code generation tag, uh, big, bold, and, and green. Uh, we added some text so you can see the call me at and the exclamation point. Uh, uh, we put the deer and the uh, colon here. And of course, we bold-faced the entire row here by overriding uh, what Iron Speed Designer generates and using the tag attributes dialog. So that's really all there is to modifying a cell. As I mentioned, you can put anything in the contents of the cell that you want, and you can adjust the look and feel of a cell or row or table pretty much uh, using the uh, cell editor.